Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. When we go to the we Looking at you two, I think it's safe to say this nation is fucked, isn't it? Jay thinks being a quirky douche boosts creativity. <laughs> He's this close to installing a ball pit. He's become such a cock. <laughs> if we don't keep smiling, the cameras will pick it up, and we'll be outsourced to Molly. Government's thanking us for selling nearly a billion people's personal data. LOL. Pathetic. I want to get shipped to that tax free gulag in North Ontario. We're going about it in the right way. Blue sky thinking, this is not even slightly overcast. <laughs> Finger J. Blue screens again? You're my guy. Send me the file. Bye now. You seen this pick up a cat? Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh! How's your air guitar? Oh, um. All right, follow me. Okay. Michael, hold on, hold on. Dome, they domed you! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Final 
Let's continue with Shemale Bob. You guys are going to the <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are so Mine's lame. Out. No, I'm watching Fame or Shame. Tuck fucking tits. No. Give it up. <laughs> the most racist guy in America. You all disgust me. America loves you. You are in the final. Recorded live from the Vinewood Bowl. Who will win it all? Who will humiliate themselves and... Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. At around this point in my presentation, there was meant to be a call for my product team to introduce the device. But we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I hate to keep you waiting any longer, but trust me, it's worth it. And don't worry, I will fire several people for this.